Hey, future respiratory therapist. So, got a um, a comment on a video that I put out not too long ago that was talking about um, modes of mechanical ventilation and understanding them in airway graphics and understanding what is set during volume control ventilation versus what is set in pressure control ventilation. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it to you. Um, at the top of the screen and so if you haven't seen that one then watch that one and then understand that this video comes from that this I'm sorry this comment comes from that video and the comment has to do and it comes from I think his name is Joe um, handle is Joe too and it wants me to clarify because he understands that in volume control I'm assuming it's a he it may be a, it may be a she so he she understands that in volume control, you also can set the eye time. Okay, so I did a video to where I said in volume control, you set the tidal volume and the flow. And in pressure control, you set the inspiratory pressure and the time, the eye time. And that's still very true. Okay, so I want to address your concern. I want to address it uh, in a way that hopefully makes sense to you. Okay. So when in volume control, okay, volume control, we typically set tidal volume and we set flow, okay? But like you said, in volume control, you can also set I time, okay? So let me clarify this, okay? In volume control, when you set tidal volume and you set flow, you are establishing a fixed eye time, okay? Remember, this is what it looks like. Eye time equals tidal volume divided by flow, and this is in liters per second. So typically we talk about flow in liters per minute, but this is in liters per second. So when you do this formula, you do eye time equals tidal volume over flow divided by 60, your flow in liters per minute divided by 60 will get you your flow in liters per second, okay? So when you set tidal volume and you set flow, then you're setting I time, okay? Now, if you're working with the servo I or you're working with the GE860, the new GE ventilator, then you are correct. You set tidal volume and you set eye time. So it's really the same thing. You just need to understand that when you're setting that eye time, you're now setting a fixed flow. I didn't mean to go up to tidal volume. You're setting a fixed flow now. So if you tell the vent to give a tidal volume of 500 over an eye time of one second, then indirectly you're telling it to give that breath at this fixed flow, which is just the exact opposite of when you're using the Avia or the 840, just to name of two of the more popular ventilators, at least in this region. You're telling it to set a set tidal volume at a set flow, which equates to a fixed I time. Okay? So that's the first thing I want to say is like, yes, there are ventilators out there in volume control ventilation that allow you to set the tidal volume and the I time. Okay? Understand when you set those two things, you are fixing the flow to achieve that I time. Okay? So your flow is still fixed. The flow is still the mechanism that you need to understand. Because when you have a patient in volume control, okay? I'm going to erase this. So your patient is in volume control. Okay, and you have either 
a fixed eye time because you set the flow, or you're working with an event where you set the eye time, and now you have a fixed flow. It doesn't matter, okay? What matters is that on your pressure waveform, it should look like this. But when it looks like this, you need to understand that your flow is not enough. Why is your flow not enough? Why does this tell me? This is pressure. Okay? My flow waveform is going to look like this. Your flow waveform is going to look the same every single breath because it's fixed whether you set it and you want to call it set or because you set the eye time and you want to call it fixed. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you understand how to recognize when your patient is flow hungry. And this is the answer. This patient's diaphragm is dropping faster than the gas that you are delivering. This patient's diaphragm is dropping faster than the gas you are delivering. Why isn't it showing up on here, Joe? Because this is a setting that is set or fixed. It's not, it do, this can't vary. The vent, the vent is controlling this. Whether you set eye time or whether you set the flow. This is a fixed setting in volume control. And this is flow. Okay? So just because you set eye time instead of setting a flow, you're still setting a flow. You're still telling the vent that over this eye time, deliver this tidal volume. And when you do so, you're telling the vent to deliver this tidal volume at this rate to establish this eye time. No matter what you set, whether it's eye time or flow, what matters is when you recognize that your patient is flow hungry. Now, you sense a little tenseness in me right now? The answer to that is because as you, many of you know, because if you've been watching any of my videos, my wife's grandmother just recently passed away. One of the times I was in the room, the sedation was way down. She was breathing above the set rate. She was in AC, so she was triggering all the vents, and her pressure waveform looked like this. And they said, the good thing is her pressures are down. And I said, in my mind, you know, you can't say this stuff. It's like going to eat at a restaurant. Like if you want your food to come back tainted, then complain about it, right? You can't, you can't complain about the care that's given. You can't, you just can't do it. When you find yourself on the other side of the bedside, you have to find a peace and a calmness, trusting the other people. And unless something is way wrong, then you just have to go with it. Okay, because. If you don't, then you're that pain in the ass family member that that is only going to create disdain and probably a worse level of care for your loved one. So you just have to go with this type of stuff, okay? Don't tell me my loved one's pressures are down. She's dying of pulmonary fibrosis. Her pressures have been in the 40s the entire time she's been fully sedated. Now she's awake, and now she's breathing spontaneously above. And you know what? She's air hungry. She's freaking flow hungry. And the reason her pressures are down, her peak pressures are down, is because she's sucking in harder and faster than what the vent is giving her the breath. Because the eye time of one second isn't providing her enough flow, okay? That's what you need to understand about flow and eye time.
set one or the other, but understand that the opposite becomes fixed. Okay, when you're in volume control ventilation. Set flow, eye time becomes fixed. Set eye time, flow becomes fixed. The next time you set an eye time, look at what your flow setting is. It'll tell you. The servo eye will definitely tell you. It'll say eye time set at one second. Why? Because that's what we choose. One second. Everybody needs one second. It's horse crap. Watch your, watch your stuff, watch your graphics, and fix your inspiratory needs to meet the needs of your patient. That's the message. Make the ventilator breathe like the patient. Not the patient breathe like the ventilator. Don't tell me her pressures are down and that's a good sign. No, it's not. No, it's not. The only reason her pressures are down is because you're not giving her enough flow. She's breathing spontaneously and she's flow hungry. That's why her pressures are down. Become that respiratory therapist that recognizes this and doesn't feed that line of crap to someone else's family member. That's the message. Hope this helped.